Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to batch process images and this way I'm going to show you how to resize many images in a few simple clicks. First thing you have to do is create an action and then you have to batch process them. So it saves you opening every single image, resizing it, saving it, the long process that it can be. It's very simple. First we need to create the action. So you want to go to Window and Actions and you need to create a new action. I'm not going to go through too much on how to create actions in this tutorial but I'm just going to show you the basics. So you need to click, click the new action icon and you need to name it. For this tutorial I'm going to name it 2000 width just so we know that that's the action we need for this and hit record. And you can see here the record button is highlighted. So everything we do now is recorded. So if you don't want anything else on other images, don't do it now. Okay, so I'm going to go to image, image size and change it. Over here it's 4600 width. I'm going to change it to 2000. And because I have the, the link, it adjusts the height automatically. And hit OK. And now I want to save it, so I'm going to do Control and S, or you can go up to the File menu and save it that way. I'm going to keep all the options here the same, and click OK. Right, so that's our action done. I'm going to hit the Stop, because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to close the Action Panel, just over there. Right, and now I'm going to close that image, and I'm going to go to the Batch Processing. So we're going to go to File, Automate, and batch. Okay, so now we have our action saved and we want to use it for multiple images. So we have it in the default actions and we created one called 2000 width and the folder where all the folders where all the images are. I've got mine in needs uploading and batch. I currently have five images in there all the same size. I'm not going to go through any of these. Um, if you want to look at them in more detail, if they have folders in folders and everything, you can include those and override certain um, other actions. And I'm going to have errors, stop for errors, yes, in case something goes wrong. And the folder I want to choose is my tutorials folder, which is batch, because that's where my images are. And I want to override action save as commands because we've saved it in the actual action itself. I'm going to leave these the same. You can change them, name them different things. I'm not going to. And all I have to do now is click OK. And now what you're going to see, it's going to open every image, resize it, save it and close it again. It does take a little while. That's why I've only used five images for this tutorial. But if you have a whole like folders and folders of them, it does save a lot of time in the long run. It may seem like it takes ages, but it doesn't really. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to open them. And just to show you the size, five images, open and open. It's taking its time, sorry about that. And here we can see, let's go up, oh, let's wait for them all to open first. Okay, let's go to the first one here, because that's the first one I showed you. Image, image size, and you can see here that it is... 2000 width and the height has been constrained as well. Okay, well, I hope you liked this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you very much.